One of the simplest and most powerful things you can do to keep vaccines at the right temperature while you're storing them is to regularly monitor refrigerator temperatures. Any time a vaccine is being transported or stored, it has to be kept at the right temperature. If a vaccine is not kept at the right temperature, it can lose its potency. And if it loses its potency, it has to be discarded. The only way to know that a vaccine has been kept at the right temperature is to monitor and record temperatures twice every day. The first step is to read the temperature on the 30 DTR in your refrigerator every morning. Here is one model of 30 DTR that is widely used, though there are other models. Most health facilities should be using 30 DTRs to monitor refrigerator temperatures, but you should read whatever device you have in your refrigerator. Since you're going to do frequent readings, it is a good idea to make sure the 30 DTR is easy to reach. On this 30 DTR, you can see the current temperature right here. Step two is to record the temperature, the time, and today's date. You should write this information on a temperature chart, which should be close to your refrigerator. On this particular chart, the dates and times are already provided. So you simply add the data in the spaces provided. Your chart may look different, and that is fine. The important thing is to capture the information you need. Next, you will need to write down the high and low temperatures from the past 24 hours and write down whether any alarms were triggered. You can find all that information on the display of your 30 DTR device. For example, on this device, we can see the temperature information here and the alarm information here. Keeping a record of high and low temperatures helps everyone in the cold chain see whether a piece of equipment is having problems or needs repair. That is why it is really important to write these numbers down. The final step happens at the end of the day, when you take a second reading of the current temperature using the same device. You should record the current temperature two times a day, once in the morning and once at the end of the day. You will do this at least five days per week and preferably seven days per week. That is it. You should now be able to monitor and record refrigerator temperatures every day.